Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Big Country 443. Um, this is my, probably my third walk away video uh, because, man, the left just, they just, they just won't stop giving me things to talk about. Uh, if there's any reason, if there ever at any time in, in history for people to walk away from the Democratic Party, all you had to do is look at the, uh, the debates. Now, uh, I wasn't able to watch the debates because I don't, I have high speed internet and uh, I don't have cable. You know, I, I watch Hulu and uh, YouTube, of course. And uh, I learn about stuff happening in the debates, uh, namely by watching other YouTubers who actually cover the events. So, shouts out to Amazing Lucas. If you guys haven't checked Lucas out, man, check that dude out, man. He's brother sharp, man. Leo Dunson, um, another sharp guy. Uh... And of course, I mean, a lot of you probably know Anthony Brian Logan. Uh, the YouTubers that I follow have been following for a while, ever since I uh, decided to walk away a uh, long time ago now. Uh, well, actually, since the t uh, 2016 elections. But <clears throat> with this latest stuff going on, I mean, um, if, if I was Democrat and I was going to vote Democrat, I would be frightened because none of those people uh, are even qualified to even think they could even try to be a presidential candidate. The only person that half ass uh, may have a chance is Joe Biden, creepy Uncle Joe Biden, as he's often called. Joe Biden was a vice president. You know, he was Obama's vice president. So. Uh, among all those people up there, he actually has the experience. He was a vice president, but a vice president nonetheless. He still uh, had the responsibilities. He still, uh, vice presidents always know what's going on. And uh, uh, I must say, during the debates, man, they tried to tear his ass apart. It was like sharks feeding on each other. And they really were trying to attack Joe Biden. But let me tell y'all something, man. Cory Booker. Cory Booker is so full of shit, man. I mean, for real. That dude, I mean, he is the epitome of, and I don't even, you know, I'm not going to even say Uncle Tom. Because Uncle Tom is actually not an insult if you know your black history. But uh, he is like the house Negro. Don't know no other way to put it. He like the house Negro. Uh, the the one that didn't have to work on the fields, you know, he he he, you know, he just had it easy. Uh, Cory Booker don't know nothing about that life, man. And anybody who looks at this guy, and he's always trying to make like like he's in the hood, like he's in the hood, and he's down with the black people. And man, come on, Cory, stop playing, bro, stop playing. We all know you fake and full of shit. And uh, Kamala Harris, I don't know what else to say about her. You know, uh, her and Cory Booker, man, are two people that the, the, the Democratic Party <laughs> wanted to be successful. They could have did without those two. Th those two are trying to sink the ship. And they're going to sink the Democratic ship single-handedly. You know, um... But the debates are uh, the debates were a trip. I mean, it really were, uh, from what I saw, and um, just amazing, man. I mean, if, if people don't see by now, people are still on the Democrat plantation. And see, the problem is a lot of people don't know anything about politics. You know, I didn't really know much about politics until the 2016 elections when my friend Joe started opening my eyes to a lot of things and I started looking into things and that's when I man I was like Phew. now you know I got a close friend known her for years and she's a staunch Democrat 
but you know we live in the south man and that's that's what it is you know you grow up uh you know i'm 46 years old you know she you know she right around the same age and you grow up in the south man that's you're taught to be a democrat you black you democrat because the republicans are the racist white people the you know the brainwashing over the years man it's just crazy and then when you open your eyes it's like wow and then the other people who haven't woken up yet you know when when they find out what you're thinking it it blows their mind they're like no man you're oh what are you doing i mean i i have friends stop talking to me you know a truck driver friend of mine I'm not gonna call his name but uh you know uh we had a healthy debate uh back and forth about the issues and uh he got so pissed at me he told me to stick to doing my other videos i do and leave politics alone because i don't know what i'm talking about i'm like wow man and then uh just promptly stopped speaking to me you know uh try to message him you know try to send him messages try to call him check on him see how he doing he don't want nothing to do with me so i mean and that's cool that's cool you know, uh, and, and really the way I look at it is, if somebody's truly your friend, you should can disagree on things and not let it affect your friendship. Politics should never come between people, uh, family or friends, because, the, but, it, but it'll let you know if, if people are truly down for you or not. Because if that's all it takes for somebody to just uh, haul ass on you, a difference of opinion really we we didn't have much of a friendship to begin with I mean you know it, it was all you know it on his part it was probably bullshit on his part and I, and I know I might be wrong for saying that and if you watching and know who you are if I'm wrong then please forgive me if I'm wrong but I, I gotta call it like I see it you know uh, those of you who have been following me you guys know one thing about me I believe in the truth and I believe in facts 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 and nothing is more factual than how a person behaves you know a person can say one thing and then do another but the proof is in the action you can say you're my friend but then when things get hot and you haul ass and abandon me what else am I supposed to think but like my boy Anthony Brian Logan says I digress let's move on uh, you know and, and if you if you guys have seen the uh, that BS lately with uh, like I said in my other video I probably mentioned it that whole thing with Elijah Cummins and, and President Trump uh, you know and everybody that, that you know the, the leftists want to call him a racist and the thing that gets me is uh, the blignorance, and I think I've explained this for black people, black, ignorant black people, I call them blignorant. It's the difference. You got blignorant, and then you got black people. Well, the blignorance is, uh, blignorance is bliss. You know, and the thing about it is that you can see the mental games, the psychological games they play, right? It's like if you want to distract a blignorant from the issues, all you gotta do is say, "Oh, that person's a racist," and look at look at the tactical thing they did. Now, when when President Trump, when Trump and Hillary were uh, running during the election, um, they didn't. You know, a lot of people didn't take Trump seriously. You know, and he wasn't a racist then. But I find it mighty suspect that all of a sudden, when he was whooping Hillary's ass and then became the president, oh. Now he's a racist. Oh, he's a racist. Oh, you know, it's, it's crazy how the left always likes to play the race card, and they get uh, they get blignorant people to go along with the race card thing. I mean, it's really crazy because it don't make no sense. I mean, how do you uh, you know how do you just be that damn stupid? I mean. It, it just should be common. Some people should, just don't have common sense. Uh, and I think for those who do have good sense, I think the, uh, well, it's, the common problem is people getting in their feelings. Whenever people get in their feelings,
they're not using this. When people make decisions based on this instead of this, that's what causes people to get into problems. So the thing about it is people just have to stop and think, do some critical thinking. See, that was my problem. That's why Joe, my friend Joe, I thank him every day for waking me up because I was all in my feelings, you know, and, and wasn't thinking about what really is going on. And uh, that's a big problem when you don't think and you just do. You got you to gotta think and not just do, you know. So uh, with that going on with Elijah Cummins and the president, I mean, the president wasn't lying about what he said about uh, uh, Baltimore. I mean, it, you know, they do have a rat problem. They got trash everywhere. I mean, uh, you know, all you got to do is go Google it. And, and there are plenty of videos where people have gone to the neighborhoods that gone to the 7th District and see for themselves. I mean, there are YouTubers that, and I don't, I, and please forgive me. I saw a YouTuber relatively new to me. Can't remember his name, but I mean, it's not hard to find videos on the Seventh District, especially now, with with all the attention being garnered. See, Elijah Cummins should just shut his mouth, just shut his fat ass mouth, you know, because I mean, the dude's been sitting there in Congress for since 1996, and why your district look like that? Now they say Maryland is one of the richest states. Well, if Maryland is one of the richest states, there's no reason for the seventh district to look like that. Uh, I think uh, Tucker Carlson, had, like I said in another video, Tucker Carlson interviewed one of the guys, city councilman or whatever, and this dude wants to talk about racism, 400 years of structured racism, instead of answer the question. Where did those two point whatever six or nine billion dollars go that uh that that was sent to fix the problem? Where'd the money go? Nobody wants to answer that, but apparently uh the signs of corruption is there. They had two mayors that stepped down amidst scandal and corruption, so I mean I don't know what more proof people need. And really anybody that I mean you have to be pretty damn ignorant in order to uh, not even look it up for yourself. I mean, really. But but see, that was the problem I had during the 2016 election, right? Like, people were coming at me left and right because I said I support the president. And uh, when I started speaking anti-left viewpoints, uh, oh, I got attacked viciously. But, you know, the funny thing is I challenged everybody that attacked me prove me wrong. All you got to do is prove me wrong. If you're saying that what I'm saying is wrong, well, okay, I'm just asking you to prove it. Obviously, you should be able to back it up with facts. And the thing that kills me the most is, you know, like when I say, well, when I said, well, go do some research. Oh, I did my research. I did my research. You didn't research shit. Because if you did your research, and and you really understand what I'm talking about, you wouldn't be challenging me on it. See, see, but that's what blignorant people do. You know, they they are, they are truly blignorant people will never admit they're wrong, or they'll never. Uh, uh, and that's why you can't have an intelligent conversation with a blignorant person or an ignorant person. I mean, of any color, ignorant people, you just can't have conversations with them. You know why? Because they're ignorant. And they're, they're thinking with this and not this. Everything with them is emotional. And you can tell, I mean, the thing, the thing that got me is not only could they not prove me wrong, but then they'd get mad and get triggered and call me Uncle Tom and Uncle Ruckus and I'm a sellout and I'm a coon and I'm da tap dancing for the white man and all kind of crazy stuff and nonsense, man. But they always lean toward that. And the thing that's funny is when you have black people who will attack you, they'll, they'll sit there in one point and say, well, oh, well, you know, uh, we want equality and, uh, no, I mean, you want tolerance and equality and all that, but yet and still you want to attack your own. I, I, everybody that attacked me was black. 
I didn't have one white person attack me. I had, I had, it was two white people who didn't agree with me, but we had a healthy debate, a healthy discussion. And one of them, I actually got them to open their eyes. I said, look, you, you got a smartphone in your hand. Do the homework, do the research, look in the same stuff I did. I even went so far as put links, non, uh, non-biased sources of information, links up there. And, uh, I even had one, one of my classmates, uh, tell me talking about, well, uh, it's fake news. Uh, I told, I said, well, if, if, if you want to find out what president Trump thinks, all you got to do is go on YouTube and look at his interviews. She's going to turn around and tell me that's fake news. Huh? How's that fake news? The, the man is sitting there talking out of his own mouth, saying what he's got to say, and but that's fake news. See, that's, the, that's that ignorant mentality. See, ignorant. See, ignorant people don't really want to... That's why you can't you can't debate with ignorant people because they they don't they're not open minded enough to even entertain the possibility that you might be right. See, I'm open minded, you know. I'm not right about everything, so that's why I say prove me wrong. If we you know, let's have a debate, a dialogue about the issue, I mean that's fine. But I I'm gonna hit you with the facts. I'm not gonna come to you with what I think. What I think is irrelevant. What's facts is relevant. Okay. Bottom line, you know, so that's how you punch people in the mouth with facts, man. They can't. That's why I like Ben Shapiro so much, man. Ben Shapiro will 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 slice and dice you if you don't have your shit together. That's a sharp dude. That's a sharp dude. And he's brutally honest. Ben Shapiro is brutally honest, and I like that about him. And that's, that's what you need, man. That's, that's why the president has such an appeal to a lot of people because... He's not, uh, he's not a politician. Uh, yeah, he's a businessman, but, uh, President Trump is very direct. Um, he doesn't pander to anybody. He calls it like he sees it. And usually when he says something about people, there's fact and truth behind it. But, you know, like I say, the mainstream media, they don't, they don't want to show you that. And the thing about it, man, I had black people say, oh, oh what what he do for black people? Come on, man, really? If, 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 the, if the signs are not there, the, I, I don't know what more to say, man. I mean, what, well, how much more do people need to understand that the Democratic Party is not good for you? The subject of reparations, right? Who should pay the money for reparations? I say the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party has, is, has historically been racist. They should pay reparations. They they have been the bane of black people from since since the before the Civil War. The Republican Party was founded by white abolitionists and Harriet Tubman. It's like I told somebody. I said, "Look, how you think Harriet Tubman was able to make the Underground Railroad work?" It wasn't just her. There were a lot of white people who had places to stay, wealth and means to make help the escape happen. So that's why you know I don't understand. You know, black folks have this something. Well, some black people uh, have this thing about white people, and I'm like, the 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 person you need to worry about is is the one that look like you. That's the one that's trying to hurt your ass, literally. And I'm not talking about something I don't know. This is this is a fact. Your own your own black people, man, will will tear you down. I'm trying to tell you, 2016 elections, proof in the pudding. Um, you know another thing. Uh, with everything that's going on, um, it's just insane, man. It's like. Uh, like I said, black people, some black people say, oh, what the President Trump, what he did for black people? Come on, man. This man, this man got the uh, black unemployment rate, all-time low in the history. Uh, first time in history in a long time, in a lot of decades. Uh, brought jobs back to certain areas, industrial jobs back, certain areas where, where you have uh black community where 
uh, industrial area industri industry had left because of uh, Obama's policies and um, and the whole prison reform and uh, First Step Act. Uh, uh, the HBCU refunding. I mean, the man is doing what he said he was going to do, regardless to whether somebody likes the president or not. I think it's only fair to give a person their fair due. Even if I don't like somebody, the thing about it is I don't have to like them to respect them. Respect is a whole different thing than liking somebody. You know, you can respect, you can not like somebody, but you can respect a good quality about them. Let's say you may not like the person, but you know they're honest and they're genuine and they don't lie and they don't do bullshit. Well, I can respect that. I mean, I like some of the things they say, but, but you got to respect it because I respect truthful people. I respect uh, uh, people that's not, that, that are genuine, not disingenuous. So, uh, man, and if you look at the Democrats, man, I mean, damn, what, what more you need? I mean, they're, they're all in favor of letting these illegals come over here. I mean, damn, really? What part of illegal don't these people understand? Illegal. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but illegal means against the law. So how, how these people, how are you going to sit there? And the, the, the Democratic Party wants to not only let the illegals come over here unchecked, they want to give them free health care, give them goodies, free stuff. Well, what about our people that's here? What about our homeless here? What about our veterans, homeless veterans, veterans who ain't getting their fair share? I mean, come on. If you're going to take care of anybody, you should take care of the people that's right here in the United States. Stop worrying about them folks over there. And I want to go back to something, an issue that they uh, that they they tried to burn the president on a few years ago, when he uh, when he called some of those uh, the, the whole shit old country thing. Well, let me tell you something. He wasn't lying about that either. Most of these countries that these people come from are third world shit old countries. If if it was Shangri La over there, they wouldn't be trying so hard to come to the United States. So the man wasn't lying about what he said. And you got that damn, uh, that, that senator uh, from Somalia, that woman, that uh, sits up there and, I mean, you, 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 you were rescued, you came over here, and you serve in the Senate or Congress or whatever she does, and you're the most anti-American person, I mean, you, you talk shit about this country who rescued your ass. I don't I don't see you I don't see you big time in the in Somalia where you from if the United States is so terrible take your ass back to Somalia why don't you go back there better yet all these people that want to talk about the United States is racist and all that well it's like I tell them leave get the hell on if it's that bad just go what you here for why are you here I mean, shit, if I didn't like being somewhere, hell, I'd leave. But see, they're not going to do that. You know why they're not going to do it? Because they know they got it good over here. Their bread and butter is, is buttery over here. They know that you're not going to go in a whole lot of other countries and talk shit about the leader of that country or voice your opinion or say what the hell you want to say. They, 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 they appreciate the freedoms they have. They just won't show it. They don't, they don't even realize that they are showing appreciation by not leaving, by staying right here. You know, so, hey, man, I'll tell you, if, if, <laughs> that Democrat Party is just, man, I'm telling you, if you don't walk away, I feel sorry for people that's on the plantation. And really, my thing is, uh, and I hate to say this and being sensitive, but look, if, if, you, if you still want to stay on the plantation, that's your business. You know, I, I stopped trying to uh, deal with ignorant people because it gets you nowhere. They're going to argue you down. Even when they know they're wrong and they have no facts, just their emotions, let them keep that. I know, and y'all know, we know what's going on, and that's all that's important. Now, will some of them wake up eventually? Yeah, they will. 
Took me a while to wake up, but they will. Some of them. But anyway, guys, uh, this video is running 25 minutes. I, if y'all sat here through the whole thing, I appreciate you guys. Love y'all. Uh, anybody that's new to watching me, uh, like, share, subscribe. You know, check out my other videos. Uh, I have another page called uh, uh, Big TP. And I have my weight loss journey on that page. That's a whole other subject. But anyway, guys, uh, y'all be blessed. God bless you. Y'all be good to each other. And uh, until the next time, put my little two cents in. But peace.